It's Tuesday night here at Beyond the Airways, the Infinity Project, and because it is Tuesday, that means it's time for new Car Smell Tuesday. We've got new video games, anime manga, Blu-ray and DVDs, and of course the music. And one other thing, we are not responsible for the crazy names of the groups or the CDs. <laughs> and we're not responsible for the occasional left bomb in the title either. Yeah, exactly. Well, anyway, I'm your host for tonight. I am Oddlog Stream. I'm joined in the line by two of my crazy cohorts. First... We have our resident Joker, Mike. Good evening, sir. Hello. Happy Tuesday. And over here is our star child, Janet. Hello, Janet. Peace out, people. How's <laughs> it going? Good. And, of course, Bird Spotter Tim is over his usual place, the rabbit hole tonight. So we'll let him enjoy the paranormal since, hey, that's his thing. It's cool. All right. Well, anyway, um, yeah. Well, anyway, um, before we do, just want to say this. Um... If you made it past Hurricane Issa ES today, good. Of course, a lot of people have lost power, and we've already had, I think we had like, I think, four people in the U.S. die as a result, so, you know, thoughts and prayers to watching, affected. I was watching the Weather Channel this morning. Mm -hmm. They had a tornado near Quantico. Mm -hmm. And they also had a tornado warning in Pittsburgh. I believe it. Wait a minute, Pittsburgh? Had... Wait, Pittsburgh or Philadelphia? Pi Philadelphia. Yeah, Pittsburgh's on the west side of the state. Philadelphia's in the east. They had a um, tornado warning. Uh, I was bored beyond, bored beyond, so I turned on Weather Channel this morning. Yeah, but then this afternoon, something even bigger happened. Uh, did you see that explosion in Beirut, Lebanon? Yeah, and they're saying it was terrorists. Could be. We'll just have to wait and see because it's a little early to tell. But there were a lot of videos about in that with that explosion. Oh, and they I think there's one. Like one person way too close. They had one oh. person took a sh was had his camera aiming at the smoke coming up. All of a sudden, there was this big explosion, and his camera caught the shock wave. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, the, the yeah the explosion itself wasn't the word thing to worry about. It was the shock wave. The shockwave yeah. actually caused the most damage. All right, so anyway, I think we are ready to go. I've got all the sites ready, so... Let's rock get this... and roll. Shall I am on? ready to go. All right, yep. let's get it. I will go ahead and start posting links for my three. All right. And we'll start with the video games first. Games that are out today. There's nothing, there were none that was released during the weekend, so mm -hmm. we'll start with today for... Um, PC and Xbox One, we got Spitlings for PC and PS4, Scully for PC and PS4, Fall Guys Where's Ultimate Mulder? Knockout. You said Scully. Where's Mulder? <laughs> but I'm Tish. Um, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout for PC and PS4. And for those who have PlayStation Plus, it's free. Hmm. Okay. Oh, nice. And which I may consider downloading that at some point. All right. Next for PC and PS4, we got Releptica for Xbox One, Wizards Wand of Epicosity. Sounds about right. And mm -hmm. for PS4, Rogue Cube. Then games that are out tomorrow for Xbox One, Steam Tactics. Also for Xbox One, Rogue Cube. And, and, and that's on the uh, cover. Uh, for Xbox One, we got Mystery Mine. For PC and Xbox One, Undermine. <laughs> for PC and Xbox One, Clan N. Then out on the 6th, I think I'm only going to go up to like the 8th. So I'm going to go for the 7th. All right. So for August 6th, for PC and Xbox One, Airy, Broken Memories. PC, Eternal Hope for the Switch, 112th Seed, Xbox One, It Lurks Below. For Switch, Rogue Cube. For PC and PS4, Fast and Furious Crossroads. Then on the 7th, for PC, we got Hero, um, no, 
Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition, Xbox One, Swim Sanity, also for Xbox One, Warrior Orb, also for Xbox One, um, uh, Hard Cube, and that's it. For yeah, but look games. at the look at the next game listed coming up. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> what was it? What is it? It's it is is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Oh no! Yep. They finally did a video game off the manga. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, or or of the anime, but I will talk about that on the eleventh. Yeah, which is next Tuesday. Exactly. For the no, love we'll get of to pick up the, so whoever has the right gaming system gets to pick up the Dungeon Girls after all. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's close that out. What's next? The upcoming dubs? Yep, upcoming anime. All right, let's get it. All right, fourth. All right, let me go. Oh, no, it doesn't go back. All right, so first first one from Funimation, we got um, Astro Lost in Space, the complete series. Also from Funimation, we got Fairy Tale Fall Season Part 23. From G Kids, we got Pro Promare Collector's Edition. Also from G Kids, Ride, uh, Ride Your Wave. From <laughs> Sentai Filmworks, <laughs> is it wrong to try to pick up girls in in a in a eighty dungeon season two? <laughs> and lastly, from uh, Viz Media, you girls are getting around. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, <laughs> from Viz Media. We have Naruto 4 movie collection. And that's, and that's all it of for the anime. All right. Oh, God, the all Dungeon right. Girls hit us twice. Once in the games and once in the video. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Okay. Oh, nice. Actually, I can actually sort that. Mm -hmm. I, um, I can actually filter this so that way I can hide the digital and physical. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to hide one of them or leave them both on? Um, if you could, I didn't know we could hide it. That's good. Okay. I just found this out. So which I just one should I too. hide? Okay. Which one you want to you hide want... the? I want to hide the digitals. Uh, yeah. Let's hide the digitals because I'm. Okay. Filter. I don't use a nook and all that. All right. Got all right. it. Hide nook. Filter. All right. Actually, we may not want to hide them because it gets rid of those that were out on the second and first of August. So... Oh, all right. Okay, got All it. right. Okay, so starting with um, August 1st, this was a light novel from the uh, J Novel Club. It is Cooking with Wild Game Volume 8. This is a nook. Then out on August 2nd. Sounds like a cookbook. <laughs> both are from J Novel Club. We got um, Der Werewolf, the. Annals of Vite, Volume 8. And Record of War, Stenia War, Volume 7. August 3rd from Futikaya. I, I, I love you so do as I say. From J Now Club in Another World with my smartphone, Volume 20. From Manga Planet, Salaryman Kentaro. Then those that are out today from J Novel. Got Anna Meta Volume 4 from Viz Media. Got Ayo Haru Rai Volume 12 from Kadansha. Are You Lost Volume 6 from Seven Seas Entertainment. Got Ari, F Ari Furita from Commonplace to World Strongest Zero Volume 3. From Viz, we got Black Clover Volume 22. Another from Viz, um, Blue Exorcist Volume 24. From Kadansha Boarding School. Volume 2 from Mangum Planet Charge Men's School. From Kadansha International, um, Chihaya Furu, Volume 21. From Gadanta USA, The Daily Lives of, of High School Boys, Volume 1. From Viz, got um, Demon Slayer, Kimitu no Yaiba, Volume 15. From Gadanta International, 
um, Drifting Dragon Volume 8 from Tuttle Publishing. Got Folk Tales from, from Japan Fables, Myth, and Fairy Tales for Children. This is hardcover. From Viz, we got Fu or Fu Fushigi. Fiji. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, Bayako Senki. Uh, yep, Volume One. Then from Seven Seas, we got Hegao Hegohan, Volume Three. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we got Gigant, Volume Two. From J Novel Club, we got. Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash, Volume 15. Um, Kadansha International got uh, is, uh, GTO, Paradise Lost, Volume 12. From J Novel, we got How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, Volume 11. Another one from J Novel, we got I Shall Survive Using Potions, Volume 1. <laughs> yeah, from um, Futi Kaya have I, I want you so much that I'll let him violate me. And there is no cover because it's mature. So <clears throat> Yeah. From uh J Novel Club, we got In Another World with my smartphone, volume eleven. From Viz Media, we got JoJo's Bizarre Ed um Ed Adventure Part Four Diamond is on uh, Unbreakable Volume 6. From Viz, we got um, Ju Jetsu Kaizen Volume 5. Another from Viz, we got Kaze, um, Kaze Hikaru Volume 28. From Dinpa LLC, we got Lockdown Zone Level 10, Chapter 1. From Seven Seas, we got Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Alma's Office Lady Diary Volume 3. From Viz Media, we got um, My Hero Academia Smash Volume 5. From Viz, we got uh, 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 Naruto, Naruto's Story Family Day. From Viz, we got One, um, one Piece Volume 94. Another that's long... another one that's as long as Mobile Suit Gundam, I swear. Something like that. Gundam has been going around since the mid '80s. No, it's uh, actually around since 1980. Okay, '80. Mm-hmm. Ninety, two thousand, two thousand ten. Forty years. Yep. But uh, All right. anyway, go ahead. Carry on, Mike. All right. From Viz Media, we got an Orisama Teacher Volume Twenty Seven. From Kadansha International, Our Fake Married Volume Twenty Three. Another from Kandansha International League, uh, Peach Girl Next, Volume 8. From Seven Seas, we got Peter Grill and the Fall Officer's Time, Volume 1. From Viz, we got The Promised Neverland, Volume 16. From Udon Entertainment, The Roses of Versailles, Volume 2. From well, Viz. That's another, oh, that's another retro one, Rose of Versailles. Hmm. Hmm. It was an anime. I think it was a manga before it became an anime. Interesting. All right. From Viz, we got Samurai 8, The Tale of Hachimaru, Volume 3. From Viz, Shortcake, Volume 9. From Kadansha International, we got Smile Down, The Runaway, Volume 12. Another from Kadansha International, we got To Be Next to You, Volume 8. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we got Tora Dora Volume 10. From Viz, we got Twin Star Exorcist Volume 19. Omiyoji. From Viz, we got We Never Learn Volume 11. From another one from uh, Viz, Yona of the Dawn Volume 25. Out Tomorrow. From J Novel Club, Club, we got Camp um, Campfire Cooking. I'm just only going to go to the 7th or 8th. Um, out on the 6th, we got from Mega Planet, 
Uh, Silver Fang, the shooting star again from Futakaya, touch of a brush. On the seventh from Manga Planet, we got Magical Tor Toruruto from Manga Planet, Rise of uh, Rise the Demon from Futikaya. The time a gangster was re reincarnated as Ron Maru Mori. Darn it, no no bug no banaga. So you plan on making me your page? <laughs> okay. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to stop at the 8th because Sunday will be the start of a new week at this okay. point. So, um, from Jane Novel Club, we got Altina, the Sword Princess, Volume 5. Another one from Jane Novel, we got Can Someone Please Explain What's Going On, Volume 3. From Manga I'm Planet. I'm sure got... I want to know what's going on in this crazy world. <laughs> Fair point. From uh, Manga Planet, we got Inoshima. Y Kiki Cafe, and last, another one from Manga Pl Planet, Sound of the Sky, and that's it this week. All right, well now it's my turn. Now... Is, it, is it enough? <laughs> you see, it's, that's it. That's my... it for this week. Yeah. Yeah, this week. Isn't it enough? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, um. Let's just say I've got a weird situation. Metacritic did not update itself. Interesting. So, I managed to find Cinema Blend, and the best thing is, <laughs> I don't even have to worry about any of this, really, at all, because there's no, there's nothing to, um, there's nothing to, you know. Report? Yeah, no, yeah, nothing to really say. So I'm just going to say, this right here, uh, this is these are all the digital and Blu-rays. This is gonna be TV and movies put together. So I do apologize for this, but there wasn't a choice. All right, we've got Dead Ringer, Dispatches from Elsewhere season one, His Dark Materials first season, NCIS Los Angeles the eleventh season. It's been on that long. Wow. Let's see, The Good Doctor season three, Swallow, The Resistance Fighter, The Soul Collector, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan season two, and House of Hummingbird. And for the early digital release, it's Deathstroke, Knights and Dragons. That, I know, is animated. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. That's on a hell of a short list. I know. Now, here comes the fun part. Let's get to the CDs. <laughs> now, I wish I could get, rid of, I wish I could get rid of the ads at the bottom, but guess what? I can't. So... I've tried. I cannot get rid of those at the bottom, so. Well, you try. Yeah. All right. So anyway, these are all the CDs coming out. Now, this does start at last Saturday, so here we go. Uh, we have, on the first, David Bruno, Raya Shopping, Kill Bill with Drowning 101. Oh, wow. Grateful Dead, Dave's Picks, Volume 35. Philadelphia Civic Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 42084. Oh, wow. Nice. Surely. Speaking uh -huh. of the Grateful Dead, mm -hmm. no, it was Aerosmith, you know, since we're talking music. I was watching American Pickers yesterday. Uh huh. And what the Pickers did is they found the original Aerosmith band buried in the dirt in the forest, in the woods. Oh, wow. They dug wow. up that van, took it, Got it refurbished and took it to Las Vegas and pre prevent and presented it to Aerosmith. Oh, nice. And they put it in the Rock and Roll Museum. Nice. In Las Vegas. <laughs> but, <laughs> hi, Mike. And they did wow, the original. Wow, I was responding to iShine. Oh, okay. I'm not iShine. Oh. oh. That's me in the chat. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I thought it was iShine. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. But but they got to drive that van down Vegas. It had no seats. They only had the driver's seat. Uh -huh. No seats for the passenger to sit in. Really bouncy shocks. Mm. And there was a couple of things they had to um, replace. Mm. Okay, carry on. All right. So anyway, here like... is the next one. It's barbarity with the zymosis. Uh, let's see. It looks like Keckle with Quantum Resolution. Keckle? Deuter 
Kekel, K-E-K-A-L, Kekel. Let's see, uh, Deuteronomy with evaporation. Knowledge, even though it's K-N-X-W, I know it's knowledge. W-T-P-R-T-16. Then we have Dennis Sorokin with Cupcino, solo for John. Uh, Lighthouse Sparrows with The Deep End. Mayhem of EMS and Piro with Proclamation. <laughs> then we have Tiger Moth Tales with Still Alive. Death Noise with Rites, Curses, and Spells. Hmm. Uh, Disconnect with Towards Peace. Skin Ooh. and... I know that says Skin X Bones. I'm just going to say Skin X Bones, even though it's practically Skin and Bones. With Old Haunts. La Guaya with Guaya Seso. Seso. Uh, let's see. Left Lane Deep Didon with Go Left. <laughs> then we have Kaz with Dakara featuring Banshee and Jibe BFM. 6 9 with Punani. I like the yard. Uh, Lil Key with Shino featuring Lil Baby. And by the way, the, those last two, they were on um, Sunday. Uh, then we have Moss Beats with NYSED Nysed. Uh, Burns Beats, self-titled. Toby and Nigue with the Pandemic Project. Taylor Swift with Exile. Geidel with Dum Dee Dum Dee. Kang Daniel with Magenta. And by the way, those last three, that's yesterday. The uh, Baby with Peephole. Adversaries with In Nomine Draconis Inferni. Edison with Acid Rain. KC Pluto with Time Travel. Let's see. Anoni with It's All Over Now. Baby. Oh boy. Fucking along with Baby Blue between Be My Husband. I hate it when they have these long titles. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, let's see. Then we have Vatican Shadow with Rehearsing for the Attack. Shanique Marie with Freak. Brahm and Toshinori Kondo with The Sea is Rough. Aldo and Spanish Ram with Doña Blanca Trilogy. J Coin Drive with Baseball Brat. This is a reissue. We also have Fisk with One by One. Then we have, oh dear, Megan Ran and K Murdoch. Bits and Rhymes with Forever Famicom Diamond Edition. Okay. Um, okay. Then we have Cutmaster C with Simplify Your Life. And then coming out today, we have Da Baby with Blame It On Baby. That's Deluxe. Uh, 645 AR with Some About You. Uh, let's see. I don't know why they have Da Baby twice, but they do. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, that does occasionally happen. I've noticed that. Yeah. We have Billy Cobb with Who Shall Its Folds Divide. Paul Institute with Summer 2020. Taman with Two Kids. Hudson Mohawk with BBHE. And boy, that is a creepy cover. <laughs> what, what's on the cover? Give us the Reader's Digest. Condition. How about four very well-built women, like bodybuilders? Oh. My mom says that she do, that doesn't look good on women. Uh, I, I, I like wouldn't that. have that either. I don't like it. But let's see. We also got Rocket Punch with Blue Punch. Scary the Band with Bicycle. Kesha with a little bit of love. Mm -hmm. Kesha with a little bit of love. Cameron Cartmill with Strings, Kits, and Bass. Let's see. Wolfstar with December Scars. Uh, produced by Yago and Skeepy. Almost like peaches. <laughs> All right, then we have Dante with Force 5. And that looks like a familiar anime character. Uh, let's see, you also have Abyss X with Animosity, Sophie Remix. Then Cameron Cartmill's got a hell of a busy day. He's got one, two, three, and four. <laughs> Interesting. Yep, then we also have Anal Nathrock with Endarkenment. Obliv with Loose Joints number 8, A. And B. <laughs> it's two, basically two. Uh, we also have Kali Uchis with Yomando Aki. 
and that starts tomorrow. Uh, we also have Tourmaline Sphere with Awakening, Joan with Cloudy, Mega Scavenger with Songs in the Key of Madness, Hecati EJ, EGY with Innomine Artem Blackium, Jason Molina with Eight Gates, and that one goes into Friday. Jaga Jazzes with Pyramid. Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers with Just Coolin. The Microphones with Microphones in 2020. Ito with Ito Brigante. Duma, self titled. Luke Bryan with Born Here, Live Here, Die Here. Oh, here's one we haven't heard Deep Purple. Whoosh. <laughs> yeah, Deep Purple goes whoosh. <laughs> Let's see. Young UP with Will Tomorrow Be As Bad. Glass Animals with Dreamland. Avatar with Hunter Gatherer. Great Gable with Tracing Faces. Yellow Days with A Day in the and a Yellow Beat. Good Tiger with Rays in a Doomsday Cult. <laughs> Idris Akamur and the Pyramids with Shaman. Enter Tongue with Malefice, Malefice Artes. Video Age with Pleasure Line, Leela Moss with Who the Power, Victoria Monet with Jaguar, Jay Jail with Prison, spelled P R I S Y N, Bonnie Light Horseman with Green Green, Stand Atlantic with Pink Elephant, Washed Out with Purple Noon, <laughs> El Gudo, El Gudo with Zombie, K Beta with Bad Rap, Jobs with Endless Birthdays, Amine with Limbo. Lil Y Flex with Big Y Flex. Yes, that's the title. <laughs> Etel Tech with Dream Boundary. Then we have June of 44. Revisionist Adaptations in Future Histories in the Time of Love and Survival. Huh. <sighs> then we have Conway with From a King to a God. Dark Star with Civic Jams Remixes. Excuse me while I get some water. My mouth's drying out again. Anyway, we also have Allison Mosshart with Sound Wheel. Divide and Dissolve with TFW. Tough Age with Which Way Am I? Marlo with Marlo 2. Cassidy Pope with Rise and Shine. Take Maidza with Last Year Was Weird Volume 2. Swarvy with Sunny Days Blue. Bronson, self-titled. Kenny Roby with The Reservoir. Vintage Crop with Serve to Serve Again. Global Communication with Transmissions. Secret Pyramid with In Ceremony. Stay Voiceless with Lies to Tell Your Children. Another Sky with I Slept on the Floor. Steve Von Till with No Wilderness Deep Enough. Glock with Dissident Remixed. Charles Tolliver with Connect. Oh, I gotta do this one again. Let's see. Looks like Aziz, Crazy F1R3, Elite Miss 4, and Malnesi with Fatal 4 Way versus Volume 2. How to Be Dead with In Space. Billy Nomates, that one's self titled. Alice Chater with Aries. Treasure with The First Step, Chapter 1. Scary Hour and Lunatic with Loomis and Myers. Victoria Monet with Jaguar. Uh, Willie J. Heasley with Twin Heavy. Duval Timothy with Help. I Dress with Let's Get to the Wedding. I like the cover. It's funny looking. Uh, Scars Bra with Predatory. Vasafor with To the Death. Orbit Culture with Niha or Nija. Nick to, let's see, Nyctophobia with What Lasts Forever. Obsecration with Onwards, The Mystic Paths of the Dead. <laughs> uh, Stillbirth with Revive the Throne. Temple Nightside with Pillars of Damnation. Let's see, oh boy, Gustavo Bertoni. The Fine Line Between Loneliness and Solitude. And someone needs to wake up. <laughs> uh, let's see. We also have Messiah with Fatal Grotesque Symbols Darkened Universe. 
All right. We also have Astriferous with the lower levels of sentience. Black Crown Initiate with Violent Portraits of Doomed Escape. Misery Signals with Ultraviolet. Selps with Relatos de Ang Angustia. Onslaught with Generation Antichrist. A Beer with Heat. Elephant with Had Enough. Dev with Follow My Lead. Slaves with To Better Days. Jenny O with New Truth. Gashi with 1984. Helvetia with this devastating map. Anneli Choppa with Top Shotta. Uh, Nelson Dialect and New Tone with Opal Mind. Little Mosquito Disease with Get Shot. Faceless Burial with spe Speciation. Cardi B with WAP. JoJo with What You Need. Lil Keed with Trapped on Cleveland 3. And Trapped on Cleveland 3. I don't know why they got that twice again. Alright. Then we got Medium Love with Overcoming Shyness. And the last two actually come from the same person. Amaya with yeah, Cosas Interesantes para Decir and La Victoria. No, I'm not. I'm trying to listen to the bit. Listen to the show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's alright. Oh, that's it. I'm done with the CDs anyway. Okay. Oh, what time is it? It is just 9.31. Oh, we got a whole half hour left to go. Yeah, we do. All right. Okay. We, I think our heat and by heat warnings have ended. Thank Yay. goodness. And I think there's it only Ashley. Hand today. Hey, Ash. Hello, Ash. Hi, Ashley. I'm actually back into the... Hey, Ashley. I'm in here with you this time. Uh-huh. Uh, All right. But no. I was just listening to you talk and not interrupting you. Okay. Oh, hold on. I think it's... Oh, I watched sure. this very interesting video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. a, li a linguist mm -hmm. says Trump's way of speech is that of a teenager. <laughs> Trump's linguistics is the way of a teenager. It's on YouTube. Ah, okay. This guy is a professional linguist. I know we weren't supposed to bring him up, but mm -hmm. yeah, this is not really political. Yeah, just more talking about you know behavior. Yeah. And speaking of behavior, uh, you probably heard this: Mulan is going to be on Disney Plus, but this time you're going to have to pay thirty bucks. Well, you know what? I have thirty bucks for the movie? Yes. Anymore. Because you see, here's the thing: on the one hand. It's going to be out. It's outrageous, okay? On the other hand, since it looks like it's not going to hit the theaters, the movie's got to make the money. Well, well that I makes sense. That yeah, the movie has to make the money, so. You both in there. There we go. Not there. That makes sense, but that's that's really steep there. It's yeah, no. The people are. Yeah, because think you about this way. You can buy a Blu-ray for cheaper than that. Yeah, because I have to. Look, I look at it this perspective. A family, a family could enjoy this for thirty dollars. You know, they they can have their own popcorn and everything, so I don't have to go really buy the, the expensive popcorn in the theater. But for people like me, when I'm really the only one using it, it's pointless. Point Agreed taken. on that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I gotta think about getting a new um, cooling fan for my computer, for my laptop. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get to the article here. Let's see. Oh wait a minute, I had posted it on the group. Hmm. Let me get to that one because that's where it's spotted. It's like I was thinking about making a rant rock. I was like, wait, maybe not because. You know, I mean, there's you have to look at it both ways, but you know, for someone like me, it's like I can wait. You know. Okay, now if I want to see Mulan, Sad. I'll wait till it comes to Amazon Prime. Yeah. That way. But from a little bit I've seen of the artwork, you know, the pictures, it looks like it's going to be true to the movie. Yeah. Or true to the or true to the actual folktale itself. You know, a lot of people saying, "Why is there uh, no movie?" Ashley she was like, said, "Yeah, Ashley I would, said I would not pay to watch that for that much. It's too much." I agree. I mean, yeah, like that's I said. Ridiculous.
fault on either end. Okay. It was a technical glitch. Okay, I got it. I got it. We're back on. Good, well. Okay. I came back to you guys. Okay, are we still on? Because it says streams get connected. I'm attempting to reconnect in a minute ago. Hold on a minute. It says live according to Twitch. Okay. There we go. We are our live. Good. Thank you. All right. So let's get back to what I was trying to do here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, even amid a pandemic that has battered major parts of his I'm business, including theme parks and studio entertainment, Disney flexed the power of its streaming service today, releasing Whopper subscriber figures and announcing that its tentpole film, Mulan, will bypass American theaters and go straight to Disney Plus next month. Disney Plus now has over 60.5 million paying subscribers as of last month, just nine months after the launch of the direct-to-consumer streaming platform. And doggone it, my mouth's drying out again. <laughs> Give me a second. Mm. Come on, come here. Come here. Dealing with dogs live on, on the air. Yep. <laughs> hey, we, we always said this. We got live animals because, you know, Mike, Mike you have your cat. Janice got her dogs. Uh, when Frodo's here, he's got his cat, too, so... There you go. And I think Lulu is sleeping. Yep, Lulu is sleeping over behind the desktop computer. <laughs> cool. I don't know All why right, well, she likes that spot, but she does. All right, I anyway. have a problem getting Cosmo in the cage. I apologize for the interruption, listeners. That's fine. All right, oh, anyway, weird. and after several delays due to its theatrical release date, Disney CEO Bob Chappick said that Mulan will premiere on the service on a premiere access basis on September 4th, for twenty nine ninety nine, the film will be released theatrically in markets in which access to the movie on Disney Plus. Are you kidding? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what happened. Yeah, that's that's uh, twice now. Now, are we live? Seven I don't know. Hiccups. Let me see. Yeah, we're live. Okay. Excuse us, folks. We're still working out. We're still working on the bugs. Yeah, unfortunately, I kind of froze. Oh, that's up, it. Dog. That's it. I'm getting a new doggone router. I'm getting tired of this. Okay. Good idea. We're not All quite right. ready to go to bed yet. All right. So anyway, where was I? I think I was talking about something about Mulan. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start with that. He also said that the premiere access window created on Disney Plus for Milan acts as a fairly large stimulus for new customers to sign up for the streaming service. Between Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus, the company has surpassed 100 million in global SVOD subscribers. That has made the company even more confident about our future and encouraged them to be more aggressive with programming. During the last earnings call, Disney reported 54.5 million worldwide subs. Chavik highlighted the 15 nom Emmy nominations earned by the service's flagship live-action Star Wars series, The Mandalorian. 15? Wow. I didn't even know they had that many. Let's see. Hulu's total subscribers have reached 35.5 million as of June 27th, of 27% from the year ago quarter. Of those subscribers, 3.4 million take the SVOD Hulu service as well as the Hulu Live Virtual MVPD service. Why does that sound like police department? I don't know. That's why I'm like MBD. What the... MVPD. Okay. Uh, Hulu what? Live subs... Hulu Live subs are at 2.2 million in the year ago frame. ESPN Plus now has 8.5 million subscribers. And one thing to know, I do all three for 12.99. <laughs> right. Can I see the article, Shirley? Uh... Just I thought them. I had it. Okay, hold up. It's not in the group chat. I had it. Okay. Can you see it now? Oh, hold on. Let me get there. Okay. No, it's not sharing. Okay. I don't know what's going just, on. Just, just the single one. Okay, let's just go back here. Let me try this again. Hold on. Can you see it? Hold on. I need to get... No, 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 uh, sure, sure. Hold on a I minute. Mean, I think I can. Uh, wait, you're, you're, you're still host. Okay. What the heck? Why is it not working for you? Ladies and gentlemen, we are suffering technical difficulties. Please stand by. Yeah. We're, uh, we apologize for our technical difficulties. Because <laughs> I think it had stopped like a minute ago and it had problems. <laughs> right. I think that's, Just, that's the... uh. Just uh, send me the link. Just send it to me, like copy okay. paste. 
All right, sure. Wait a minute, I think I put it in the chat room. Yes, I did. It's in the chat. I don't have it now because I refreshed. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, there. That should do it. There we go. Okay. Okay. So the so the Google Chrome is not being shown on my on your on the uh, Twitch end. Okay. Fine. I'll just do it this way. No, actually, it is showing. It oh, is okay. showing. It's just I want to look at it. Like. Oh, oh, I got. I'm gotcha. trying to figure out that one. MVD or whatever that is. Yeah, the MVPD. Yeah. All right. Oh, MVPD. What the world? Let me look it up. Hold on. That's Let's... what I'm doing as well. Like that's. Most valued something something. What is MVPD? That's right. We are doing live search on air. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Multi-channel video programming distributor. That makes sense. Okay, so now we got that figured out. <laughs> anyway, um, ESPN Plus now has 8.5 million subscribers. Disney plans to launch an international direct-to-consumer general entertainment offering under the Star brand in the calendar year 2021. Chavik said it would draw content from Disney-owned ABC Studios, FX, Freeform, 20th Century Studios, and Searchlight, among other Disney assets. Let's see. Uh, I'm not going to go into details with numbers because that's starting to get a little too much. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? It's, it's, starting, it's, starting, it's starting to get into economical numbers and it's like, I can't figure it out. <laughs> In other words, gotcha. the numbers are big. Yeah. It's like you, you, you're going to have to, you're going to have to have an economic background to understand this stuff and I don't understand this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, that's right. why I stay away from economics and all that jazz. That yeah, just goes right that's over like, my it go, it's like it goes over my Okay, well, all right, we're back in business. All right, we're back in business. Okay. Okay, for how much longer? Good question. Well, I'm hey, done now, with... hey, now, now I'm seeing seeing the disconnect thing for the first time. That's because I'm lagging ah. on my end. <laughs> yeah, but I think seriously, oh, it maybe it's time to get me a new, new I think router. This is playing with a piece of blanket fuzz. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We have li we have live dogs on the air. <laughs> she is playing with a piece of blanket fuzz. Yeah, it's like what's with all the technical difficulties? I think it's on my end. Well, I mean, it would have to be because well, you're the only one that's hosting. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that, everybody. I don't know what is going on. But and besides, we only got 15 minutes before the show ends, so I think yeah. we can do well, it. That part's, that part's fine. Well, at least it was a short-lived, um, a short-lived, um... Yeah, and in, all ser in all seriousness, I'm going to consider getting a brand new... I probably have to go ahead and get a new router tomorrow, because this is just getting ridiculous. That's a good idea. I just need to find a good one. Yes. Okay. All right, yeah, so, yeah. so I can close that out now. Oh, excuse me a minute. Come here, dogs. No problem. We will be here. Yeah. Yep, the dog. Yep, the dogs come. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, let's see. Uh, like I said, like I said, very early on in the show, you know, we had a. It's like, it's like we had Hurricane Isaias shooting up the East Coast. And then at the same time, <laughs> there was a, that huge explosion in Beirut. And it's like, and it's like there were like several videos of the explosion. 
But the explosion wasn't the big problem. It was the shock wave. Especially if anybody was way too close. <laughs> ah, there, I think I finally got a boat to settle down. Sorry, Good. people. That's okay. Oh. Yeah, and I do apologize. I don't know what is going on, but it's like last. I'll tell you the truth. Last night, long after the show ended, I had lost my connection to the internet because mom said the air conditioner isn't cooking. I said, "Don't worry, mom. It's still going to work regardless." That's why we won't go for a a smart house. You know. Yeah. Well, the good news is I can always turn that part off and go back to manual. <laughs> That's uh -huh. not difficult. Yeah, that part's not difficult to do. Yeah, I mean, we've got a smart washer. Mm -hmm. We could put um, do certain programs on our smartphone if we wanted to. That's fine. I remember a movie in which these people had a smart house. Mm -hmm. And the technology screwed up on them. Ah. Yeah. I was like, there was a, I think there was like a Disney Channel movie a long time ago about a smart house, and the smart house basically took over. Mm hmm So. I remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be a smart house, but the smart house got too smart. <laughs> Amen. I hear you there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't mind a few things here and there. I just don't want everything, you know? Yeah, that's what the, um... Echo can do. Mm -hmm. the Amazon Echo? Yeah, but you have to have the right devices, too. So it's not like... Like, you see uh -huh. that clock See that clock behind me? Yeah. It's an Echo clock. I don't know. So I can, I can do something like this. Alexa, set a 10-minute timer, please. Now watch that clock. Now it's lit up. <laughs> Now my clock yeah. is lit up for 10 minutes. There we go. <laughs> it was frozen. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Again. Well, anyway, I, there they go. Yeah. Anyway, I told her to set a 10-minute timer, which is done right there, if you can see by the clock. <laughs> yep, I see the clock. That's yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's great for, like, alarms, timers, you know, reminders, and everything. Is that, Just... is that powered by Alexa? Um, no, you have to put batteries in it. Batteries? Yeah, you still have to put batteries in it, but once you get it, but it's, it, hooking up is pretty easy, too. Okay. So. And so, where, where did you get that clock? That's well, really cool. Yeah, well, what I did was, I found one, now, this is not the one I had before, I had found one at a thrift shop in Prattville, <laughs> got it for six bucks, unfortunately, it died after about two and a half months. Well, hey. it was used. It was used. So, mm -hmm. so I got this new one off of Amazon, Ooh. and it's working fine. Working. But I think I, I think it was like twenty seven dollars. Oh, that's not bad. No, you it see, was now, called I was the thinking, Alexa clock. Uh, well, I'll put it this. I'll put it this way. There were two other clocks, but they cost too much. So there was one with a Mickey Mouse hands, and one that looks like a Citizen watch. But both of them were like, uh, no, they're too expensive. Were they? Over 50? Yeah, they were. Over 100? No. I think the Citizen was like 80. <laughs> I was like, I don't need it that bad. This Echo Wall Clock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's like 30 bucks? Yeah, that's the one. Wires compatible Echo. Yeah, what's great is like you could use it for the kitchen or you can use it because I, you know, I'll use it for, like I said, I'll use it for reminders, timers. I would need to Is get it an to Alexa. To the net? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to get like an e at least an Echo Dot, because that's what I have. Yeah, I have the Echo Dot. Dot. Clock. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Echo Dot. Seventy nine ninety nine for, for the citizen. Yeah. Echo Dots is only about fifty bucks. That's not bad. Mm, no. Fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. It depends on what it depends on what version you get on Alexa, because I I think I've had mine for like about a year and a half, 
So. This is a third gen. Okay, so I think mine's probably a, it's either second or third. I just can't remember. I would. Oh, I like these the Echo Dot kids for eighty dollars. Let's see. JJ wants that? it. Did you did you hear about what happened in Beirut? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. How can I, I miss it? Uh, it? Hamilton Beach has a smart coffee maker that works with Alexa. <laughs> a lot of things they have work with Alexa. Just have to be care careful. Oh, excuse me. Okay, okay, hold on. The thing is freezing up again. There we go. No, this my this is my internet connection is unstable. It's like, oh, shut up. We're already aware it's of like, that. Oh, shut up. Oh. What? They have a owl holder stand, statue smart speaker holder stand for third generation Echo. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a smart speaker table stand that looks like a dragon's head. <laughs> it's a decorative holder for Amazon Echo Dot or Google oh. Home Mini. Ah. I like poking through Amazon. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Well, let's see. Uh, well, I don't know what else news we got. <laughs> yeah, I think our, our hot weather is finally breaking up. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we're going to be getting hot this week. I believe you. Correct. It's getting hot, you know? Hot, hot, hot. Let's see. Uh-oh. Uh, thousands of passengers are arriving in Hawaii despite the 14-day quarantine. Uh, oh, boy. Well, I'm sure they could find things to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wouldn't mind having color-changing light mode. Yeah. Oh, Lulu. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> Let's see. Signs that talk shit but can't fight. Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Signs that will beat your ass. Virgo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, and Leo. Okay, then everybody better steer clear of me. No kidding. <laughs> Ooh. Now this is a 50-piece mask. For thirteen eighty one. Yeah, but I'll bet they're probably disposables. Oh, they are. Mm. They have a replaceable active carbon filters removed. Oh, wait a minute. Is this for the filters? No. Ooh, Echo Spot with Alexa. Ooh. Oh. For ideal for people that risk. Of diseases living in or traveling through areas with high air pollution smoke levels. Seven layers of protection, five layers filter face protection, filter activated carbon breathing filters, skin friendly non woven inner layer, breathable and comfortable, low bre breathing resistance. Package contents 50 pieces. Oh, I could decorate that. I wouldn't want to go around looking like a ninja though. Yeah, I don't blame you. But I would do it. Oh, hey, let, me, yeah, let me ask, let me ask you guys something. Have you have you been seeing like people posting those try to get the gifts to line up or something? Oh, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. I mean, I don't like doing it every so often, but it's like I'm starting to see it a little too often. It's like, uh, yep, yeah, I really don't want to see them. <laughs> All right, looks like everything's okay now. Let's see. Uh, oh, all right. Before we go, calculate to travel to calculate your next travel destination. Okay, 
Uh, choose a number between one and nine. Well, I'll let Mike go first on that. Okay. Um, five. Okay, multiply it by three. So that'd be 15. Add three, 18. Multiply by three, that's 54. Let's see. Add the two digits. Five plus four is nine. You're staying home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Janet, your turn. Really? Uh huh. I'll do four. All right. Four. Let's see. Multiply by three. That's twelve. Add three is fifteen. Times three is forty-five. Four plus five is nine. You're staying home. Okay. Let me try it with two. Okay. Two times three is six. Plus three is nine. 27. They're all going to say it. Nine. Stay home. <laughs> oh, no matter. I have a feeling no matter what number you choose, it ends up nine. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, anyway, we are getting close to the end of the show, and we do apologize for the technical difficulties tonight. Because really, this shouldn't have happened. All At right. least we went on live TV. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Jack was trying to watch um, something last week, and it kept going to the bar to the colored bars. Uh huh. It was a satellite feed from New York. Ah. All right. Well, anyway, let's see. Oh, look at this! My timer's counting down. Let's look oh, at my really? clock. Yeah, look at the clock behind me. See the see the clock? Oh, nice. It's counting down. In the last minute. All right, so go. anyway, um, we're going to wrap things up for tonight. Tomorrow is our first episode of the Review Review, and I'll be reviewing Hamilton. I am going to watch that one. Hey. Well, I'm just glad I don't have to pay, you, at least I don't have to pay the damn 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah. All right, and, um, you know, last night I forgot to say the what, what, you know, how to find us and everything. I won't have to do that anymore because I created a 10-second ten second little clip to end the show. Where you can, where you'll be able to follow us on all our platforms. So I can honestly say, um, everybody have a great night, have a safe night, stay safe, stay warm. Okay, Alexa, stop. Stay warm? Don't you mean stay cool? Yeah, you're right. You stay, stay warm. warm. Well, I guess it depends on where you are. Some for some parts of the country, it is stay warm. <laughs> okay, boy. But otherwise, it. but otherwise, stay cool, stay safe. You know, if you've lost power in Isaias, we're sorry about that. Uh, you know, we're, you know, and we, I know we've had at least four deaths attributed to that storm. So, but anyway, you know, we hope you have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow for our first ever review review. Good night, everybody.